All right, we'll go ahead and get started, folks. Um, this is the Cloud Foundry in the government track, and my name is Dormain Drewitz from Pivotal. I was one of the co-track chairs. Um, I'll, I'll get to it in a minute how this came about. Uh, Greg Otto from Comcast is the other track chair, and he's currently introducing the Cloud Foundry in the enterprise track. Um, I, I'm obligated to go through fire exit uh, announcements, um, and since I wore out my voice last night with about five hours of karaoke, I'm going to do the fire exits in mime, which is basically So um, apparently they've done studies that ants, um, because they calmly exit the area when there's something happening to their ant hill or whatever, their ability to communicate with each other in their ant way uh, is proven a faster and more effective way to exit in the case of an emergency. So um, humans aren't as good at that. We tend to like run and push and it actually slows down the entire process. So just remember that if there's a fire, be like an ant. Just be like an ant. Okay. Um, so, so the Cloud Foundry and the government, uh, the little bit of the backstory here is you may have noticed when there was the open call for papers, there wasn't a topic or track or anything that was government. Uh, what happened was uh, Greg Otto and I had the privilege of being nominated to co-chair the Cloud Foundry in the enterprise track. And we noticed a sizable number of submissions that were in and around government, including a couple of talks from uh, folks in the Air Force, um, 18F, and you saw the announcement yesterday about cloud.gov. Uh, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Uh, and so we saw this kind of collection and said, you know, we should really take advantage of that and set, set those aside in a special track. So Greg and I went back to the foundation and said, you know, can we add an extra half track uh, for government and actually give folks a, a sort of a place that they can uh, consume all of these talks from government ent entities, whether that's because they're also operating in government and want to hear those lessons, or as Greg from Comcast you know, reminded me, a number of uh, enterprises operating at very large scale are always interested to hear of how folks are operating in highly secure, highly regulated environments so that they can take some of those learnings into highly regulated or large scale enterprise environments which is one reason we also um, made the government track on Thursday, because the enterprise track spans Thursday and Friday and actually sort of starts with the more like warm-up talks and gets progressively more complex. So this allows folks who are kind of at the, you know, upper, upperclassmen level, if you will, to sort of go from this track on Thursday to go then maybe hear some of the more advanced enterprise use cases on Friday, and those aren't conflicting. Uh, so some of the, the, the goals for today's afternoon is a really around learning from peers and other highly regulated industries. So I don't expect everyone in the audience to actually be in government, and that's a good thing. Uh, so this is a complement to the enterprise track, as I've kind of explained. Um, and you know something that I'm gonna be looking for personally as I listen in on as many of these sessions as I can is really to understand the, you know, both the why, like the outcomes and like the goals of what folks were trying to achieve out of making these changes as well as the how, right? There's a lot around people and process that's an important factor in how these transformation stories play out. And the Cloud Foundry technology is, is but one piece of that. 
So uh, finally, this is an element of really kind of getting started with uh, building almost you know, a government community within the broader Cloud Foundry community. So making sure folks are able to kind of connect and get to know each other uh, and share some of their common experiences. Uh, I'll make a, 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 a quick plug for Spring One Platform, which is sort of the next probably large gathering of uh, Cloud Foundry folks which is you know, the event that my company, Pivotal, puts on, and it's gonna be happening in Washington, D.C. in late September. And so um, you know, nicely spaced with this event, sort of let a lot of other things transpire. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of interesting talks there, and of course being in D.C., hoping that we'll have a sizable government presence there. So the start of the community that forms here today is something that we wanna foster uh, over time, and so I look forward to, to folks kind of continuing the conversation. With that, I'm gonna hand it over to our first speaker, uh, uh, talking about the, the Kessel Run project at the Air Force. Thank you. <laughs> 